everybody, welcome back to Meals with Marsha. Today I'm going to be doing a chicken and rice recipe and this is a great family favorite. I've been making this for very, very many, many years. My daughter loves it every year at her birthday. She always wants chicken and rice. And this is a weird combination, I'm going to tell you. The first time I made it, I thought this is going to be horrible, but it's amazing and delicious. And so I'm excited to show it to you today. The first thing is we're going to have a bag of this bull and bag rice. Now, you can use what they call parboiled rice or you can use Uncle Ben's converted rice. That's harder to find. The parboiled rice is easier to find, but normally it's in a store brand. It's rice that's been boiled and then been dried back out. And that's the kind of rice you're gonna to have to use with this recipe because regular rice does not work. One time, I was with my sister-in-law years and years ago and she, when she didn't have enough parboiled rice and she was like, well, let's just do the regular. I said, well, you know, let's just try it. I don't know what's gonna happen. And it was horrible. We cooked it the whole time and it was still just dried rice. It was terrible. So definitely, definitely use either parboiled or the boiling bag, which the boiling bag is basically parboiled rice put in, in portion sizes. And these bags are one cup portion, so that makes it very, very convenient. So we're just gonna cut this top. We're gonna do one cup of this rice or the parboiled rice, whatever you wanna call it. All right, I'm just gonna put that in the bottom. And then we're gonna take a can of Campbell's beef broth. All right, now trust me on this because it's a weird combination. You're like, that's not, that doesn't go with chicken. But trust me, it does. And I'm just gonna poke holes in that so it'll come out easy. I'm gonna pour that in there. Like I said, it's my daughter's favorite and she's pregnant. She's about 22 weeks, she's gonna have a little boy. We're so excited about that. And uh, anytime I make this, she'll, she's always coming over. So it's good, all right? And this is a can of Campbell's French onion soup. Once again, trust me on this, it sounds strange. Then I'm just gonna take my spoon and just stir that just a little bit, just to kind of make sure all that's combined together. All right, and then I have boiled a pound of chicken, all right? Now these are uh, chicken breasts that I've just cut up into pieces. Uh, chicken tenders are better, but it's very hard to find chicken tenders. I did find a couple packs the other week, but I had to use them for another recipe. But this works as well. You just chunk this up with your hands, guys. Just pull it into chunks like this and just kind of put it around evenly on top of the rice and the, the liquid, the soup. Doesn't have to be perfect. And you can easily double this recipe. I would not recommend doubling it and putting it in the same dish. I would do it in two separate dishes because it needs space to cook. I would kind of just put it in two of the same size dishes if you can, because uh, I wouldn't recommend putting it in one unless you could just get a really long, long dish. But it could be easily done with the chicken, yeah. So let's push that down. All right, and now I'm gonna take a few pats of butter. I have real butter today. I have cooked several times and I've used country crock, which we love it. But there's some recipes, like I said before, I do use real butter and I like to do that. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna, probably about a half a stick, I would say. Then I'm just gonna tear it with my hands and just drop it on the top. Just drop it on the top there in every little spot. Let's see here. One more pat. We're getting ready for vacation. We're gonna be going in a couple of weeks, going to the beach. I'm so excited. I love going to the beach. It's such a relaxing time with my family and I probably won't do much of anything but lay on the beach and uh, eat a bunch of seafood. That's one of my favorite things to do. All right, so now there it is. I'm gonna put this in the oven at 375 for 40 minutes. And then we're gonna take it back out and then we're gonna to top it with our mozzarella provolone cheese and put it in there for five more. And I'll be back to show you how that works, okay? Be about five more minutes. It's still got some juice in there. Sometimes it does that on me. This is going to take about, I think that's good. We're good. All right, now I've put it in here for 45 minutes, guys. I usually do 40, sometimes, depending on the weather, I guess. Now I'm going to take my provolone mozzarella. And I'm going to spread this all on top. Okay. I'm going to smooth it out. Sometimes it gets kind of stuck. 
and we're gonna put this back in the oven for about five minutes and then I'll roll it for maybe one minute to get the top brown. So here we go. This is minty. Now we're going to put this on broil for about two minutes and get it brown on top, okay? Perfect. Two minutes on broil. I'm gonna take that out. And that's our chicken and rice, guys.